Y'all look at all the fruits and all the vegetables. They all grow during the spring and the summer months. Now, is it warm or is it cold during the spring and the summer? I'm asking y'all, is it warm or is it cold? It's warm, man. In Texas, it get hot. And that's when the best fruits and vegetables grow. You want you some good-ass strawberries, some of them good-ass watermelons. I'm talking about one of them watermelon man on the side of the road. And I don't give a damn what town you stop in. That nigga got a brown Chevy pickup. <laughs> I don't know why that hoe be brown. That hoe be good, and I sell watermelon brown. <laughs> On the side of the road, gate be down. Nigga got about 130 watermelons stacked up two, three, four high. They all yellow on the one side, green, got the tail on. That let you know that thing grew outside when it got the tail on it. That's an uncut watermelon. It ain't been stepped on. That's pure watermelon right there. That's that's seeded watermelon right there. That's real watermelon. You slab over. Excuse me, sir. Are those watermelons on the back? On the back of your vehicle? Yeah, I got some watermelon back there. You want you want one? Yes, sir. Um, I was just wondering if it would be alright if I could maybe try one of them and taste a little bit. This nigga say, yeah, put out a long ass, rust ass knife. <laughs> Go over to a watermelon cut the hole. Yeah, he don't even look at it. He just, yeah, he put out a perfectly cut <laughs> triangle of watermelon. And for some reason, it's cold a little bit when he get into you. You bite the watermelon. <laughs> All he makes. <laughs> Mmm, let me catch that watermelon. Mmm, Jesus. Mmm, yeah, that's real watermelon right there. Mmm, that ain't been stepped on. <laughs> Tell me, sir, how much for these pure, uncut, <laughs> off the boat watermelons that you have straight from Columbia in here today? How much for them, sir? He like, a piece? Yeah, I just want one, one, maybe two. He'd be like, shit. You fifteen dollar piece for me. You'd be like, let me get thirty of them, sir. Put them in the goddamn truck. Right, goddamn now. You call everybody in your family. I got watermelons. <laughs> Nigga, you buy a whole watermelon with no regard to your refrigerator space. You don't know what's in your house right goddamn now. You don't give a fuck neither, but you know that that watermelon just got a new home and it's at your address. <laughs> Put a goddamn seatbelt around that watermelon. Who am I to take me home? You play gospel for that watermelon. You cut the, cut the goddamn Kirk Franklin on. Cut on some Kirk Carl for that watermelon. Get that watermelon into the house. You don't know where you're going to put it. That watermelon long and big. It don't fit now one of your shelves. You try to stand it up, lean it next to the milk that'll keep sliding down. Shit, this watermelon won't be still. <laughs> now you gotta eat half of it right now today. <laughs> hey, y'all come in this house and eat this watermelon right now. <laughs> we don't want to eat this goddamn watermelon or go to me. <laughs> now the kids gotta eat watermelon against they will. <laughs> you all on Pinterest and shit, you look at them shit to do with watermelon. <laughs> Your ass to grill some goddamn watermelon like you white. You done put some lemon pepper on it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. No, the fuck it ain't. Watermelon ain't supposed to be fried, stupid. You done made a smoothie and shit, put some vodka in it, and turned up. Now you in there having watermelon mimosas in the middle of your kitchen and shit. Turn the fuck up. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I got to put the rest of this other half. A watermelon, though, because we done had three pounds of it and we only halfway through it. Your dumb ass didn't cut it right. You cut it family reunion style. You cut it long way when you should have cut it short way and it would have went right into your goddamn refrigerator. But your stupid ass cut it like other people was coming over. 
<laughs> shit we go through as we grown in life. <laughs> and that be the good watermelon, because you know you can't go to the store and find none. That man told you $15 for a whole fresh from baby Jesus' hands watermelon. <laughs> A whole one. That watermelon was 12 pounds, 6 ounces, like it was a brand new fat ass baby. You announce that watermelon. You go to the store right now. They will give you half a cup <laughs> of cut up watermelon. About eight, nine good little wedges in that hole for that same $15. You stop at the gas station, that's going to be $30. <laughs> You want 12 pounds of pre-cut watermelon? Go, go, go to Sprouts. Go to, go, go to, go to the store where they didn't already cut it in half for you, wrap it in plastic, and got the seeds facing to your face. <laughs> go to Whole Foods, go to Sprouts, and get you one of them watermelons up there next to the papayas and shit, and see what you spent 90 goddamn dollars. <laughs> I be wanting to go to Sprouts, but I don't want to take out a second loan on my goddamn house. Shit, I want to go in there and get some fruits and vegetables in there. That shit is hot. And they know that shit hot. That's why the uniforms are so nice. These niggas got on Eddie Winslow uniforms. And you think back to when, when, when family managers used to, it's a rare condition, this day and age. And they used to come on here to be sacking up gross. And they got on a collar shirt and an apron and a bow tie, fresh box fade with the side part gap in the middle. He was, 